Now you might say to me, well, what's the representation and what good can it do? So I'd like to take a um, brief moment to tell you about gyroscopes. Now many of you have friends in mechanical engineering. One of the best ways to embarrass them is to uh, say, uh, here's a bicycle wheel, and if I spin it and, and blow hard on it right here on the edge of the wheel, is it going to turn over this way or this way? Now I guarantee that what they will do is they will put their hand in an arthritic posture called the right hand screw rule. <laughs> Aptly named because people who use it tend to get the right answer about 50% of the time. <laughs> but we're never going to make that mistake again because we're electrical engineers, not mechanical engineers, and we know about representation. And what we're going to do is we're going to think about it a little bit and we're going to use some duct tape to help us think about just one piece of the wheel. So I want you to just think about that piece of the wheel as the wheel comes flying over the top and I blow on it like that. What's going to happen to that one piece? It's going to go off that way, right? And the next piece is going to go off that way too. So when it comes over, it has to go that way. Let me do some ground truth here just to be sure. Oh, it's a very powerful feeling. <laughs> try, try to try that. Come on, try it. Come on, try it. Come on, come on. We need a demonstration. I want, don't want anybody to think that I'm cheating here. So let's just, so just twist it one way or the other. So that's a powerful pull, isn't it? Alex is uh, now never going to get the gyroscope wrong because he's got the right representation. So much of what you're going to accumulate in this subject is a suite of representations that will help you to build programs that are intelligent. 